Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube fam? It's your boy, Stevenson Lindor. I am back. As always, make sure you like, share, comment, most importantly, and subscribe to this channel. Send it to those out there that need the help when it comes to Forex trading. Now, I'm back again with another video. I'm going to shoot for like one a week, all right? I'm going to make an attempt to do one a week. Okay, guys, so don't, don't come from my throat if I don't drop one video a week, but I'm literally going to try and get that out to you guys. As always, past performance doesn't guarantee future profits. Make sure you read uh, the disclaimer down below in the description box. All right, guys, trading can be dangerous. All right, so make sure uh, you seek the proper, you know, financial advice, wherever you need to go to um, before you get into this. All right, so with that being said, right now I got the Forex challenge going on. All right, uh, boom, as you can see, about 51 members in here. And, you know, we, we really get busy, all right? We get to it, um, actual training. I'm making people actually post their charts. Um, you know, that, that iron sharpens iron. You're, you're not going to become this great trader uh, that so many people out there want to become. If you think, you know, watching your favorite trader or mentor or whoever you look up to and they're just posting their signals 24 seven, like that's not going to get you to that next level, right? Iron sharpens iron. So what I do in here is not only just, you know, trade in the mornings with them, but we, you know, I make them actually drop their charts, right? We go over it, um, discuss it. I try to get to everybody. All right. I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I get, uh, my day does get packed sometimes, but I try to get back to everybody. I try to respond. And the goal is to, you know, again, um, work on that skill set. Finally, a community where people can come together, analyze charts together, see what's going on. And, you know, I'm saying help them take that game to that next level. So if you want to be a part of this, please, uh, hit me up. Shoot me an email. Let me know you want to be a part of the Forex Challenge. It's still going on. Um, tap in with your boy. And let's get this rocking and rolling because I know a lot of you guys out there, I know it's your goal, especially for 2023, is to take your trading game to that next level. So who wouldn't want to do that, especially when you got myself and other people pouring into you, trying to help you take your skill set to the level that you want it to be. All right, first quarter is over for 2023. It's over. We're already in April. It's actually April 9th. All right, you got to ask yourself, what's your goals for the next 90 days? What's your goals for the next second quarter? To me, honestly, the first two quarters are very vital to your year. If you don't start the first two quarters off to your year, right, it's hard. You know, a lot of people say, you know, fourth quarter, that's when you go all out. Honestly, fourth quarter, that's when you kind of chill. That's when, you know, uh, if you didn't do everything you were supposed to do, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, um, the year is over, all right? You can't tell me you're about to turn up October, November, December, all <laughs> right? October, November, December, that's when everybody's chilling, relaxing, uh, holiday season, everybody's getting ready for the next year. So if you really want to turn up, you really want an impactful, you know, year, you got to turn up that first six months. That first six months really sets the tone for the entire year. I had an amazing first quarter. Hopefully you guys had a good quarter yourself. It's, it's time. This is the second quarter. A lot's going on. Pretty sure you guys have been paying attention to the news, um, you know, with the passing of uh, the CEO for Cash App, now all suddenly, um, you know, the U.S. government is coming out with their own version, right? A lot of things are changing right now. You see all these countries banding together, um, about to drop the dollar. So right now is not the time to be in La La Land. You want to you want to buckle down. You want to pay attention. You want to focus and make sure you understand what's going on in the world. You want to make sure your money is right. Uh, because I'll tell you right now, in the next six months to a year, all right, if you're not invested in crypto, uh, you don't got your finances right, you don't know where the market is going, um, it's going to get ugly out there for you, all right? It's going to get really, really, really ugly out there. All right, so let's tap in. Let me, uh, let's go over a few things. I want to touch on a couple of things. I want to touch in on, again, when chart markups are dropped in the chat, also I want to go over uh, what's to come in crypto. Uh, some of my favorites that are about to boom. Um, want to go over gold, oil. Uh, what's about to happen in the next coming of months? Hey guys, summer's right around the corner. Oil's about to get expensive again. All right, 
It's about there's a big buy on oil. I, I see uh one more pullback, and then after that, we we going up there. All right, oil is gonna be high again. So definitely, definitely want to tune in. All right. So again, guys, um, for the big telegram, let me see. Well, I'm dropping charts in here. Voila. All right. Now, this week was NFP. So a lot of times the market doesn't really pop off until the end of the week. And Friday happened, even though it was NFP, it happened to be Good Friday, right? So the market got really, really slow. Um, should pick back up next week, all right? Again, guys, if you're not in this Telegram, get your family, get your friends, get anybody who's interested and want to be a part of the Wall Street family, get them in here. When I'm dropping charts, please, guys, please, 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 all right? Make sure you understand what you're doing when you're looking at these analysis, all right? Not just me, um, any chat that you're in, any chat that you're a part of, okay, guys? Uh, I think I'm going to put a recorded video in here, pin post it. So people who do join, they could watch. So they'll have a better understanding of how to take advantage of any trades that I drop in here. So let's look at the last few trades that I just dropped. So Euro JPY, let's take a look at Euro JPY. All right. And we'll probably, like I said, every week is my goal to drop a video. That's one of my goals. I'm going to try to stick to it. All right, giving you guys free value, giving you that content as always. Um, yeah, Euro JPY, right? So I dropped this cell set up in here. And as you can see, it says watch EJ reversal on the five minute or one minute time frame for that ultimate entry. All right, so let's take it from the top. So why am I looking for a cell? All right. Now, remember, daily, weekly, monthly, those are your best friends. Your best friends as far as overall outlook on what the market is about to do. All right. Now, when I look at Euro JPY, yes, we're actually in an uptrend. All right. Price is actually in an uptrend. Only thing is, price is also near a supply zone. Right. Price is near a supply zone. So as you can see here, uh, during the week, price came in and it tapped. Now, you got to remember, just because this is a supply zone doesn't mean that price is going to respect it. So once you figure out where price is at based off your daily, your weekly, your monthly, all right, my favorite time frame to always look at is the daily, unless price has surpassed a daily uh, point. So like this daily at the top here. The price was to break past here, then I would move over to the weekly and then so on and so forth. But for the most part, I love being around the daily. Then it allows me to go down to the smaller time frames and make my move. All right. So now you got to look at it this way. I got my daily um, time frame here. We're at a supply zone. Price comes up. Boom. Now, price came up here on Thursday the 30th. Boom, that's the daily time frame. So now I want to go down, right? I want to go down a couple time frames and I want to see what exactly is price going to do. So I make my way down to the one hour. Now, what's happening on the one hour? Obviously, price is doing what? It's going higher and higher, right? Got higher highs and what else? Higher lows, higher highs and higher lows. All right, guys, higher highs and higher lows. Just like right over here, All right? It's my private Discord. If you want access strictly to the private Discord, again, shoot me an email. So smart money concept, right? Again, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. Now, notice during price, while it's making these higher highs, Clearly, we're going in an uptrend. So the only thing I want to do is sell. So I want to wait for those pullbacks and be in line with the overall market, right? Makes sense. So same thing here. These pullbacks, every time price pulls back, I want to line it up with a POI zone. Every time price pull back, a POI zone. Every time it pulls back, a POI zone. So on and so forth. And so price 
it's time for price to what? Reverse. Now, what do we say? What's the first thing we're looking for once um, price is at a reversal point? So this is my supply zone. Again, sellers. So what's the first thing that I need? I need that, that break, that change of character, right? That change of character. There we go. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, change of character is the potential reversal of a trend. Potential, right? That first leg that breaks, because this was the last higher low for this higher high. The last higher low before this higher high. But when this broke down, it broke. The last higher low. Last. So this is my change of character. All right? Perfect. So in this situation, this was the leg. So I want to focus on this leg right here. All right? This leg right here. Boom. Voila. Want to zoom in there real quick. All right. Now, you guys tell me, what do I want to highlight? All right. Now, let's come back over here. Remember, the leg that breaks and creates the new higher high or the new lower low, right? When price pulls back, right? That's the leg you want to focus on. That's the leg you want to focus on. You see, every time these legs creates a new higher high or new lower low, right? That's the leg. Inside that leg, this is where price will pull back into. Always. See? This was the leg that broke, the leg that pulls back inside of that leg. Now, what are we looking for inside of that leg? All right? We're looking for a POI candle, right? A point of interest. But most importantly, we're not only looking for that, but we're also looking for imbalance, right? Imbalance candles. So check this out. I'm looking for my POI candle, and I'm also looking for imbalance as well. Right? That's how I know I'm going to have a high probability sell up, uh, buy or sell setup. All right. And I put these graphs in here. Um, you'll see me do you'll see me do that. And if you're in any of the telegrams or any of the chats, right? So you guys have a visual that you can constantly see, right? Um, perfect example, just like right here. Actually, not this. Let's go. Boom, boom. So right here, perfect example. Right? So this is my buy. Right? This is my buy. Boom. Notice what was left behind. Imbalance. Right? Imbalance. My main POI and imbalance. Imbalance. POI candle, meaning my last bearish candle before this bullish move up. Price came down, right? Consolidated, created all this liquidity, inducement, and then we had a boom, a quick sell down, filled in all this imbalance, caught all that, touches this demand zone before making its way to the upside, right? So when I go back to this Euro JPY, Right. And for all those asking about the Discord telegram, like I said, shoot me an email. Let me know you want to be a part of the challenge or if you just want direct access to the Discord, um, you can hit me up about that as well. But boom. So now what do I want here? I want to find imbalance and I want to find a POI candle. So I got a couple spots here. Right. I got a zone here. Boom, and obviously at the top here, all right? And for those who don't see it, all right, let me zoom in. 
imbalance right there. I and B imbalance, right? That means this was the last bullish candle for this bearish move down. And I also have imbalance right here, right? So I know that needs to be filled. Again, another bullish candle before this bearish move down, right? And what do you see price do? You see price pull back into these zones, right? Came, fill this up, fill that imbalance, and then also gets in that POI, right? Now, I'm on the one hour time frame. all right? This is where a lot of people get confused, get lost. They go, okay, once price gets into my zone, what do I do now, Steve? You can do a couple of things, all right? And it's all based on how comfortable you are as a trader. You could either stay on the time frame you're trading on. Basically, in this situation, I would wait for bearish activity. Why? Because I'm looking to sell. So I want to see a bearish candlestick pretty much engulf the last bullish candlestick. So in this situation right here, I get in on the next candle, stop loss above, and then there's my move. Right? But this didn't go far. What happened? Price did what? Price went to the higher zone. All the way at the top there. Right? Went to fill in that imbalance and touch that POI. Right? Now, your second option is to go down to the ultimate time frames, either the five minute or one minute. And some of you guys are going to get so good, you'll even be able to do seconds, right? But we're gonna, we, before we move into that, we're going to stick on these time frames right here, right? So now I'm on this one hour. I'm still in my zone. And for those who still follow the MACD, notice how when price pulls back into your zone, it's in conjunction with your MACD. So whenever you're like confused, lost, you're trying to figure out what the hell's going on, again, don't be reliant on it, but use it as a guide, right? Use it in conjunction with your price action. Price action is here, your candles. This is your indicator. But notice when this pulls back, right? It's in conjunction. When this pulls back, right? It's in conjunction. In conjunction, it goes hand in hand. So perfect, I'm in my zone. What do I want to do? All right, let me make my way down to the one minute time frame. The same thing I was looking for here. Change of character, right? Breakout, retest, all that. I'm going to get it over here. It's going to happen. All I got to do is utilize the smaller time frames correctly. So I'm going to jump down. This was April 4th. There we go. All right. Come on, let me go that far back. Give me a second. I know what I got to do. Replay. Whenever you're trying to utilize, like, uh, and go back to back test, and the one minute will, you know, only let you go so far, right? What you do is use replay, do this, boom, and then jump down to the time frame that you want to look at. See? Voila. All right. So now, one minute. Same thing. Same thing, guys. Same thing. That's why I put this first. Right. I want to count higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. Same thing. Price is in that zone. Got to count up higher highs, higher lows. Higher high, higher low, higher high. Look at that. Boom. There's my change of character. There's my change of character. 
right? There's my change of character. And inside of this leg, I have what? All right, what am I looking for? I'm looking for imbalance and I'm looking for a POI. And then if I really want to be super technical with it, right, I can wait for this to line up with my MACD. So I got this candle right over here. Boom. Right? I got my POIs and everything. I got this indecision candle right over here. Check this out. So that means this was the last bullish candle for this bearish move down. That's a POI candle. That's an ideal area for price to pull back into. So what I want to do is I want to let price pull back, fill in those imbalance, 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 right? Let price pull back into that. And then, of course, in alignment, right? I want to make sure everything's in alignment. Perfect. Remember, this was my change of character right over here. After the change of character, what are you looking for? A pullback. Now, what did I say on the last video? All right. Now, you can enter on the first retest. You can enter on the first retest, but to be safe, right? And we show this on multiple examples here. To be safe, you want to wait for a second higher high or lower low. So this example right here, matter of fact, not go long, but go short. Right? So you get that change of character. That's what we got. Then you wait for another low, which creates a break of structure. Why? Because once you get the break of structure, you are now in a trending market. Remember, two higher highs or two lower lows creates a trending market. So now we know, oh, we're in a downtrend, right? If you're lucky, you'll get some inducement, basically liquidity. Price will pull back. Notice how it pulls back always on the leg that breaks structure, the leg that breaks structure. That's your entry point. Entry there, stop loss outside of the zone, and then boom. So we want to do the same thing here. I want to wait for, now, I can enter here. You can, guys. The moment price comes into your zone, once you get bearish activity, like I said, pretty much you want to wait for like an engulfing candlestick. I get that. Stop loss, boom, you can jump in. But the safer bet, the higher probability waiting for a break of this now, right? Remember, this was your change of character leg. Now you need the break of structure. Once that happened, there's your break of structure. And then after your break of structure, you want to wait for another pullback. So pretty much after this leg, let me remove all this. So this leg right here, this is the leg that breaks. That's the leg that breaks. Now, notice on this pullback, see on the MACD, see how it goes green again? That means that's your retest level on this pullback. What am I looking for? All right, now people always ask me, Steve, when I have multiple um, POIs and everything, this is where I get confused, I get lost. That's what I'm telling you guys, line everything up, All right? When you have multiple things lining up in conjunction with each other. This is how you know. So I already know. I got a couple zones. I got one up here. Right? POI, imbalance, perfect. I got another zone right over here. Mark them up. Mark them all up, right? Remember, this was another break. This came down, break. This is another leg down, break. Right? Check this out. Whenever I see multiple P 
POI candles, right? Multiple candles where I'm confused. Move up a time frame. All right, guys? Move up a time frame. Why? Because it filters out a lot of the noise. When you move up a time frame, it filters out a lot of the noise. All right? It filters out a lot of the noise. Do this right so we could see clear. There we go. Right? Filters out a lot of the noise. So you see where this pulled back? On that one minute, we had that bullish candle boom. But on this five minute, what do we have here? What do we have here? An imbalance. See? What's not being represented on one time frame, you'll usually see on another time frame. Right? Notice this big imbalance candle right here. Right? Look at that imbalance. Look at that gap. Price pulled up, filled it, and then dropped. This was your last bullish before this bearish move down. Right? If I go back to the one minute time frame, and we look at that area again, you don't see all of that imbalance, right? Because it's broken up. You don't see all of that, right? Does that make sense? Everybody get that? Right? So it's important. That's important. So when I line everything up, even though I don't have a retest on the five minute, on the 15 minute, but look, on one of the time frames, you're getting pullbacks. You're getting a pullback, right? And I always tell my students this. If there's a part where you don't understand something, let's say you're confused, you're lost, wait for the next break of structure, right? Wait for the next break of structure. So if I play this, right, there's going to be pullbacks. Let me pause this right here. So boom, price starts dropping. But then look right over here. There's going to be pullbacks. See that? See this imbalance? See that last POI? Always, guys. There's always going to be pullbacks. I get another break, no problem. I know eventually there's going to be another pullback. Why? Because the market has to pull back. The market has to pull back. It always does. Even when it looks like it's running away. All right? Even when the market looks like it's running away, it will always pull back. You will always catch your pullback. That's why you never, you truly never want to focus. All right, let me get rid of this. Get out of this. You never want to just focus on the higher time frame. The higher time frame is just your overall outlook. It's your overall outlook. It's where's the market going? All right? So right now, I see. We got our break. We got our pullback. Perfect. Look where we're at. We're in a nice sell zone. So again, I'm on this one hour. I know when the market opens up on Monday, not Monday, but I should say tomorrow, Right? I'm going to want to focus on either the five minute or the one minute time frame. Why? Because again, just like all the way up there, there's going to be a change of character, a retest, another break, another retest before price takes off. All right? And what you want to do is you want to go over this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until it clicks. 
All right. I was actually having a conversation with somebody today and they were going, oh, well, I've been trading for a year. I've been trading for six months and I'm not getting it. Ladies and gentlemen, when I say it's a journey, it's a journey. Success is fast and slow. All right. It's fast because based on how fast you're moving, how urgent you are, yeah, you can see success. But your real success, your real breakthrough doesn't come until like, honestly, a couple of years, a few years after um, after you've been trading. And that goes in all aspects of life. Think about it, right? So like if you take sports, for example, and you look at a lot of great players, a lot of great players didn't have their real breakthrough until year three, year four, some year five, right? If you look at Kobe Bryant, and we go look at his stats, for example, right? There's the stats. I just want to prove something to you guys. So there's the stats. All right, there you go. So he came into the league in 96, 97. Look. You would have never thought his rookie year he was going to be Kobe Bryant. His second year, 15 points. Mm. Third year, okay, starting to see. Fourth year, okay, Kobe. Fifth year, okay, Kobe. You guys see what I'm saying? So your, your breakthrough, by the time you really hit your stride, doesn't really come into that three, four year period, right? That's, that's just the nature of the business. So this is something you got to continually work at. So th the whole point of my challenge, yeah, who can flip the biggest account and everything like that? That's great and all, but who can consistently perfect their skill set, work on their skill set day in and day out? Perfecting, perfecting. Shout out to um, Laura over here. Laura is somebody who's coming to this um, telegram. She's working on her craft. She's really grinding. You know, not to call the rest of the people out here, but she's working. She's like, yo, while I'm in this uh, telegram with Stevenson Lindor, right? And he's providing all this value. Yo, let me let me take advantage of this. Let me go hard. Let me mark up my charts. Let me get this done. Right? So every day I know she's coming in. She's coming in. Um, Ronnie's coming in. These people are coming in. They're like, yo, I'm not about to just sit here and watch this man do all the work. I want to I want to perfect my craft too. Iron sharpens iron. So this is something you got to constantly work on, guys. You got to constantly practice. And you'll realize and see that this works on everything. Everything. Every chart, every opportunity, everything. Right? So, you know... When I'm dropping these charts, don't just jump in just assuming. No, make sure you confirm. That's why I always say watch here. Make sure you wait for that confirmation before you jump in for that buy or sell, right? Um, UCAD, UCAD is setting up beautifully. Be on the lookout for this next week, guys. I like this a lot. Right, when I look at the daily... All right, this is going into next week. Nice pullback. I see that daily retest. I can see this pulling back, probably pull back a little bit more, maybe 136. But we're setting up for a continuation down, 100%. And when you go to smaller time frame, you could even see it. Look at the correction on this. Look at the way it's pulling back. And look, we're about to get a nice four-hour retest. So a few four-hour candles, boom, line it up with a POI. And then look for your sell opportunity. So once it gets up here, what do you think I'm doing? I'm going to drop down to the five minute, one minute, and then I'm going to wait for a what? Change of character. Retest, right? Now, again, you can get in on that first retest. Or for the safer bet, let two lower lows be created. So that'd be one, this be two. And then when that second one pulls back, there's your entry for the sell. That's literally all you're doing, guys. All right? This doesn't have to be hard. Um, gold. Right? 
And again, this is why you always want to look at your higher time frame. Higher time frame, we're in an uptrend. How do I know? Look at the higher highs being created. Boom. Right? Look at our higher highs being created. Higher highs, higher lows. So we broke. I know this is going to pull back. Right? So I already know around, right around here. So now when I go down to my smaller time frame, I'm not surprised. I get that pullback, and then I'm riding this back up. See how that goes? I'm seeing what the higher time frame is doing, and then I'm in alignment with it. See, after a pullback like this, a lot of people thought, oh, we, we got a sell setup coming. Just for it to boom, and oh my God, look at gold. Now it's at 20, 20, 24. Right? Let the market make its move and every pullback, you know, all right, I'm buying or I'm selling. Right? And you can do this with any pair, any market. Right? The legwork, that's all you got to get out the way first. Mark up your chart. Boom. And if you don't know what you're doing when it comes to risk management, right? I've been getting asked this a lot. So risk, uh, Forex calculator. With the one with the indices, right? Cash back um, Forex. All right, it pretty much does everything. Indices, gold, whatever it is, right? Put your account size, account balance, what instrument you want to trade. And then I want to risk 2%, 1%, 5%. It'll do the work for you. All right. There's never a reason you guys should be trading and not knowing your risk to reward. It makes absolute. If you don't know what you're risking before you jump in a trade, you're in very big, big trouble. Right. You've actually lost a trade before you jump in. You should always know what you're potentially risking before you jump in the market. All right. Um. Said I was going to talk a little bit about crypto. I like this Bitcoin sell setup that's about to come on the daily right here. We're about to hit this nice supply zone. So look, price filled in all these imbalanced candles, right? We got divergence happening on the smaller time frame, right? We got divergence happening on the smaller time frame. So all we want to do is once price gets into around 29, 30,000, look for a short opportunity. Right, I believe this is what's going to happen. High, 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 break. Price come down to this POI, basically around 23. Right, 25, 23. Right, and it has the potential to come all the way back down to 20,019. So... Either we take off here or we take off here for a buy. And then once that buy begins, I mean, pretty much over. Next stop, 3940. And then after that, boom. This is going to be over a period of time. Obviously, not in a day or two. So I see this consolidating, spiking up, right? Because look at all that consolidation. Look at all that liquidity right there. So it's going to spike after it spikes and clears that out going to make its way down and then between 25 23 if it holds and how do you know if it will hold once price comes into that zone make your way down right i'm going to go down to the one hour i'm going to wait on the one hour first and then first things first i'm going to wait for that change of character after i get that change of character i make my way down to the five minute one minute and then i wait for my retest to get into the trade that's literally it guys this doesn't be this does not have to be hard. Does not have to be hard. So I see one more sell coming on um Bitcoin, crypto, basically all of them. Um, my favorite, Ripple, Cardano, all those guys, they're already pulling back, as you can see, based off this markup here. Correction. 
right? So again, coming up, where we at? Ripple coming back down to around like 41 cents. And then look for that nice bullish move up. It's already correcting. Let it get back to around 43, 41 cents, maybe a little bit lower, and then boom. Cardano, right? Got this big divergence. Big divergence. All right. How do I know if it's ready? It's not ready yet. Break. That break happened. Test. Boom. All right. Come back. Get all these imbalances. It might just hold at 32. And after that, big move up. So this pullback on all these cryptos, I personally believe is going to be one of the last real pullbacks for you guys to get in, especially from an investor standpoint. After that, take off. It's over. All right. So uh, I didn't want this video to be too long. I just want to come in here, tap in with you guys, really tell you, give you an update on what's going on in the challenge. If you're not in it, guys, reach out. Let me know. All right. Um, this is something you want to be a part of. Uh, especially if you want to improve your skill set, all right? It's pretty much free. I'm not asking for you guys to, you know, uh, pay $10,000 or anything like that. Um, just send me an email. Let me know you want to be a part of it. Uh, you want to improve your skill set. You want to get better. Uh, so, you know, you got that guidance, that proper knowledge. Um, we trade in the mornings. We get on. I do extra trainings um, when I'm available. Um, pinned over here. So the moment you jump in, you got two videos to watch. So you got a better understanding of how I trade. Shoot me an email. Let me know. All right, guys, as always, like, share, comment below. Share this with somebody who needs it. Most importantly, subscribe. Always, always subscribe. All right, guys, I'm going to try to do a video once a week, right? Just a recap. And just going over some things. And if you want to know anything, please, guys, let me know in the comments. If you want me to touch on a subject, uh, if there's something you're struggling on, something you don't understand, you want me to go more in detail, please let me know. All right. As always, it's your boy, Stevenson Lindor. I appreciate you guys. Happy Easter. Take care. God bless. I'll see you all on the next video.